We've heard both sides, all sides actually, the government has made their side very clear, the public side and the TNB side. Now, the TNBS side, the man, I hear you. I hear your problems. I hear your concerns. And your concerns, correct me if I'm wrong, are this. Right now, you're feeling the weight of an entire riding public on your shoulders, right? You've been hit with a surge, a real surge. As Brian just said, you have a 20% increase in supply, but an 80% increase in demand. So you are stretched very thin. So you're overworked but you're feeling underappreciated, especially when you read things on social media na saying things about drivers, di ba? Masakit yun. Kasi you're now giving all. Maybe there's a few, minority lang, na medyo pasaway or medyo walang ano, and they're, they're canceling. But that's not the majority of you. Don't let the minority speak for the majority, di ba? Don't let them reflect on you, okay? I also hear this. The fact that you're working so hard and you're feeling underappreciated, anybody, that's a not a nice feeling naman. I just need to tell you this. Right now, you're dealing with a very injured riding public. They're fractured and they're broken. They're hurting. They feel wounded by the very people who they elected to help them, to regulate, to ensure safe and reliable transport for them. And along comes a safe and reliable option and it's taken away from them. So these are your fellow Filipinos who are hurting and they're looking to you right now for help. The government, they feel, they're telling me that they feel the government has failed them. And if they can't rely on their government, they're turning to you and they're relying on you, yung kapo Filipino. This is your time, ladies and gentlemen. The country is watching you right now. The reason it's so hot is because people are hurting and you're put on the spotlight. You are on a stage right now. The country is watching you, and let me tell you, the world is watching you. Why? Because this problem is not unique around the world. We are dealing with a disruptor. Disruptors, by their very nature, will disrupt. And not many people will accept that nicely. Dinosaurs do not roll over easily. It needs a comet. It needs a meteor. And these are what disruptors do. Some countries have worked, some have not. So what they're doing is they're looking at you right now for best practice. They are seeing how you handle. So the world is looking at how we handle it. And this will be duplicated in other markets. It is our time to shine. As I said, every man goes through this. If you're lucky, you will be called upon and you will be measured. And this is what you call a defining moment. This is your defining moment. What you do in the next three weeks will define TNBS. What does TNBS stand for? Does anyone know? You don't know. I'll tell you why you don't know. It's just the name that was given to you by the government. It doesn't stand for anything. Until now. It can stand for something now. That's up to you. So what I ask you, you mga kati NBS, I know you're under, you're underappreciated, Nana. I know you're overworked, but I'm asking you to dig a little deeper. If you could just work 50% harder, if you could just be 50% more compassionate, 50% more understanding and 50% more patient. And to the riding public naman, I ask the same of you. Be 50% more understanding, be 50% more compassionate, be 50% more patient because we are going through a crisis right now. This is the time where you will be judged because anyone can sail a ship in calm waters. It takes a real hero and a captain to sail through a storm and we are going through a storm. The transport sector is in crisis. And you are the only solutions. The Filipino is hungry for heroes. And all of you right now are those heroes they are looking for. You are dressed up and ready to go. If you think for a moment that you are just drivers, you are so wrong. You are no more drivers than an OFW is a seafarer or a caregiver. They are not defined by that. They are heroes because of what they do for their country. Diba? It's not because they work on a ship. It's because what they do for their fellow Filipino and what you do for your fellow, fellow Filipino is just the same. You are like teachers, you are like caregivers, you are like nurses. You are providing a service, a service that we have come to depend upon. You are not just transport, we trust our mothers with you. We trust our daughters and our children with you. That's the kind of tiwala we have in you. If that's not a hero, I don't know what else is. So now is the time where we show 
the government and the people and the world what we are made of. Are we going to fight among ourselves while this is being sorted out? Or are we going to dig deep for the next three weeks and ride this storm together and show that the Filipino is indeed worth driving for? Now, each and every one of you, police yourselves, talk to each other. What you do right now will shape what TNBS is. When we look back on this in five or ten years' time, what is a TNBS? You don't want to be treated like taxis. I hear that all the time. Well, now is your time to show them who you are. Okay, this is your moment. This is your shining moment. And I pose a challenge to the LTFRB. I am willing to drive my car and go out there and pick up people for free. I will register my car if you can guarantee me that you will not penalize me and anyone who joins me. We will do this just for the Bayanihan spirit. We will do this just to help our Filipino get through this next three weeks. We will help our fellow Kati and BS. We will pick up the slack for them. We will pick up the surge for them. I am willing to do it. And if I don't charge for it, then I shouldn't fall under a common carrier. And I know I have a lot of people behind me because we did this in 2013 with Oplan Hatid. When Oplan Hatid started, we drove 20,000 Yolanda survivors for free. And I know these people can be activated at a second's notice. My brothers and sisters from Oplan Hatid, if you, the LTFRB, give us that permission and make us drive for free, we will help you through this storm, okay? But I need to know that we're all in this together. Are we all in this together? Is the Filipino worth driving for? Let's do this and change this country and drive it forward.